Like and subscribe now, or you're gonna have bad luck this week. <laughs> We've all seen at least one movie in which our planet is destroyed. But the most of them were quite repetitive and kind of uninteresting. But destroying the Earth is no easy task. And in most cases, you won't be alive to see the destruction of the planet. But if it does happen, it will be caused by at least one of the things we're going to tell you about in this video. So let's look at 10 things that can destroy our beloved planet. Number one is the most fun way the Earth can perish. So watch out for that. Number 10, the sun exploding. The sun is not a peaceful star at all, as you might imagine. The sun is a star, and when a star explodes, it's called a supernova. These types of explosions are very bright and very powerful. They release lots of dust in space, which is used to make more stars and planets. Even our solar system is, was made that way. And you know the even crazier part? We humans are also made of star stuff. So what if the sun decided one day that it had, had enough and just explodes? What would happen? Well, it's simple, the whole solar system would be destroyed, including our precious Earth. You don't have to worry though, as stars 10 times the size of our sun or bigger can explode like this, our sun will end its life in a very different way. The sun will die some other way. Our precious sun will start to die when it runs out of fuel in about 5 billion years. This is 77 times longer than the Tyrannosaurus Rex has been extinct, so a very, very long time. Number 9. Super Volcano Have you ever heard of the Super Volcano before? Believe us, it's as scary as it sounds. As with asteroids, they are historical examples of hot volcanoes eruptions causing mass extinction. The Paramatrasic Extinction Event, which is believed to be caused by something like 90% of the Earth's species to go extinct, is to be believed to be caused by a super volcanic eruption. You would be thinking about how a huge volcano can impact the whole Earth because even a super volcano cannot spread thousands of miles. Well, eruptions can cause significant global cooling and can disrupt agricultural production. They are also basically impossible to prevent, at least today, though they are also extremely rare. Another paramatrasic level eruption is extremely unlikely on human timescales, but the damage from even a smaller eruption could affect the climate, damage the biosphere, affect food supplies and create political instability. The event might not kill everyone on Earth, but it would definitely make it a living hell for everyone who survives it. Number 8. Robots taking over This is something that people have been fearing for decades now. You know how the story goes. Smart people create smart robots, which turn against us and take over the world. We've been seeing this in movies, TVs and comic books for decades. Many theorists estimate that by 2040, machines will match human intelligence and perhaps human consciousness. Then they'll get better and start make taking over as colonial Britain. Whether this counts as the uh, end of humanity or the next stage in evolution depends on your point of view. At number 7, we have something you probably would have seen hundreds of times before in movies. Getting hit by an asteroid is every Hollywood director's wet dream, which is hard to take the event seriously. But there is no question that if something were to hit the Earth, we won't have to wait millions of years for it to happen. In the 1908, a 200 foot wide comet fragment slammed into the atmosphere and exploded over the Turksan region in Serbia, Russia, with nearly 1,000 times the energy of the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Astronomers estimate similar sized events occur every one to three centuries. Scientists claim that the impacts have repletely disrupted human civilization. As an example, one killed 10,000 people in the Chinese city of Xinjiang in 1490. Objects more than half a mile wide, which strike the Earth every 200,050 years or so, would touch off firestorms followed by a global calling from the dust kicked up by the impact. Humans would likely survive, but civilization might not. An asteroid five times miles wide would cause major extinctions, like the ones that mark the end of the age of the dinosaurs. What would you do in such an event? Number 5. Alien Invasion at the SET Institute in Mount View, California, dedicated scientists examined through radio static in search of a telltale sign from an alien civilization. So far, nothing. Now suppose the long-sought message arrives. Not only do the aliens exist, but they are also about to stop by for a visit. And then, any science fiction devotee can tell you what would go wrong and how the aliens can take over and destroy our planet. Aliens might want resources from our solar system and slap us aside to get 
with what they want. Or aliens might accidentally upset our planet or solar system while carrying out some grandiose interstellar construction project. But many believe that they could come with a peace offering. A lot could go wrong with aliens visiting us, but many believe that it would come in peace, offering technology, which will, uh, which we have yet to be discovered. What way would you think an alien invasion would go? Number 4. Solar Flare Like we said before, our sun is not as peaceful as you'd think. It creates strong magnetic fields that generate impressive sunspots, sometimes many times larger than the Earth. It also ejects a stream of particles and radiation, the solar wind. If kept in check by Earth's magnetic field, this wind can cause beautiful northern and southern lights, which we humans have obsessed with. But when it can become stronger, it can also influence radio communication or cause power outages. The most powerful magnetic solar storm documented hit Earth in 1859. The incident, called the Carrington Event, caused huge interference with rather small-scale electromagnetic equipment. Such events have, must have happened several times in the past too, with humans surviving. But only in recent years have we become entirely dependent on electromagnetic equipment. The truth is that we would suffer greatly if we underestimate the dangers of a hostile Carrington or even more powerful event. Even though this would not wipe out humanity instantly, it would result in an immense challenge there would be no electricity, heating, air conditioning, GPS, or internet. Imagine having to live off canned food for the rest of your days. Tragic, no? Number 3. Nuclear War In case of World War III, which is more likely event than any other on this list, the world would suffer a lot. The good news here is that nuclear war could only end humanity under very special circumstances. The US bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in World War II were humanitarian catastrophes, but couldn't result in humans going extinct. An even bigger such event would not kill everyone on the planet, but there is another sinister thing about nuclear war that you probably didn't know about. It's the possibility of nuclear winter. That's it. If enough nukes are detonated, world temperatures would fall dramatically and quickly, disrupting food production and possibly rendering human life impossible. People who survive will just be living in hell, and the world would need centuries to get back to normal. How scary is that? Number 2. Destruction of the Ozone Layer Extremely powerful outbursts of energy called gamma ray bursts can be caused by binary star systems and exploding stars. These energy bursts are extremely powerful because they focus their energy on a narrow beam lasting only seconds or minutes. The resulting radiation from one could damage and destroy our ozone layer, leaving life vulnerable to the sun's harsh UV radiation. And once that happens, you know what will cause? Destruction. It will cause massive climate change events that can result in the melting of ice, floods around the world. Cities would sink and millions would suffer from the rays and its indirect impacts. Astronomers have discovered a star system, WR104, that could host such an event. WR104 is about 5,200 to 7,500 light years away. You might think that is too far, but believe us, it's not far enough to be safe. We can only guess when the burst will happen. Luckily, there is the possibility that the beam could miss us entirely when it does. Don't worry, whenever it does happen, you won't be around to witness it. Number 1. Black Holes At the top of the list, we have our favorite thing in space, the black hole. We are familiar with black hole, it's a void space everyone wanna be sucked in. Our galaxy is full of black holes, collapsed stellar corpses just a dozen miles wide. After all, they're called black holes for a reason. Their gravity is so strong, they swallow everything, even the light that might betray their presence. Researchers guesstimate there are about 10 million black holes in the Milky Way. These objects orb just like any other star, meaning that there is not terribly unlikely that one is heading our way. But if we were to kill all of us, scientists believe that it wouldn't be a problem for a black hole. What's interesting is that the black hole wouldn't have to come all that close to Earth to bring ruin. Just passing through the solar system would distort all of the planet's orbits. Earth might get drawn into an epileptic path that would cause extreme climate swings, or it might be ejected from the solar system and roaming in some other solar system, obviously destroying all life on Earth. Which one of these events do you think is most likely to happen? Let us know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.